Impressive defensive play. The locomotive James right down. Chick Hearn Court with a couple of good practices and recalibrate. Conley on the wing. He rejects the screen from Gobert. Boy, LeBron really engaged. You pointed it out at the defensive end, too, as Jordan Clarkson. What they're doing. Haven't they done enough to level the playing field with offenses? Oh, heck defense? yeah. <laughs> Swat away with that weak hand. I got no issue. <laughs> Horton Tucker. The He's dismissing that defender you with gotta, it. Yeah. And Frank Vogel's reacting every time. Now, he missed that shot. LeBron, weight room. Man. The corner missed everything. Whiteside got ripped. Clarkson puts it home. Nice. Eight for Clarkson. Nice soft. The offense becoming so good, so potent. A great point, Dorison. Forced inside, scores the bucket. As we look at no doubt about it, Mark Jones. Listen, I, I the the Jazz are an excellent team. We're going to hit this on the other side of the break. It's going to be a timeout. The Jazz are. But Doris on the other side of it, they come out on a six-game winning streak. What do you make of it all? Well, I think number one, it's the kind of adversity when you're two and eleven that, regardless of the reason, it can fracture a group. You can have pink finger pointing. You can have frustration. But they've they've come through that cleanly, as Quinn likes to talk about all the time. They remain connected. They're number two in the league in differential. Like that's a big deal. They've lost their last six road games. This one's a big one. We talked about it being big for the Lakers. I think it's also big for the Utah Jazz. Okay. Second meeting of the season, second of three between these two teams. Lakers winning the early one right here by six points. And it was interesting that Rudy Gobert in particular said coming out of that little swoon that they went into, and now the winning streak said there's a brand new energy about this team right now. He says, and I quote, we're playing like a team that's really trying to accomplish something big. And it certainly shows. It showed in Mitchell and continues to as he knocks down a deep three. A 9-0 Jazz run. Donovan Mitchell stays hot. Three for four from three, and he's got 18. Malik Monk into the paint, rising up. Couldn't finish over Whiteside. The Jazz out and running. Mitchell, he's been feasting on Austin Reeves here. Screen set by Whiteside, up top. Great pass, but a block and a foul by Anthony Davis. It's such a tough cover with Donovan Mitchell. If you're Anthony Davis, you know he can get downhill, so you're trying to sort of stay between your guy and Donovan. You recover late and foul. So Whiteside going to the free throw line. 65% on the season. Hey, NBA All-Star Weekend. Friday in Cleveland, the celebrity All-Star game on ESPN in the app. Hall of Famers Bill Walton and Dominique Wilkins, the coaches there. Team Walton led by native Cleveland native Machine Gun Kelly. Quavo, of course, he's been in the lab. I've watched him. Joined by Matt James, Team Neek stars Miles Garrett, who can hoop, Jack Harlow. And Tiffany Haddish, coverage against 7 Eastern for Pacific, home of the Cleveland State University Vikings. Yeah, Miles Garrett can play play basketball. I've seen him. Got to be careful those football players, man. They get these high school basketball flashbacks and get a little physical sometimes. And you don't want to get in the way, Doris. Sure, You're a big cat. Miles Garrett is built right between a football player and a basketball player. Yeah. yeah. He's got a he's got a frame built for basketball okay. too. I'm buying that. <laughs> Here's Anthony Davis working against Whiteside. Westbrook with the rebound. Back out to Monk for three. Davis working that offensive class. Great hustle by A.D. Johnson on the drive. Knocked away by Clarkson with nine on the shot clock. Good effort here by Los Angeles. Yeah, and good challenge by Whiteside on Davis, who had those 15 in the first. Interestingly, it was four for five against Rudy Gobert, so Whiteside getting some minutes on Anthony Davis now. Davis to Stanley Johnson. Five on the shot clock, Monk. Little quick sit dribble, hook shot, got it. That's a tough shot. Mm. 
And the white side is challenging. A little mid-range jumper by Mitchell. And Russell Westbrook pushing the tempos with the Lakers. Into the paint, high lob, and the finish by AD. We've seen that movie a couple of times, Doris. What was Quinn Snyder talking about? If you can't contain the ball and you force a rotation, it's just, you know, Russell's getting by and throwing the lob consistently, and they haven't been able to stop it. And Whiteside with a little payback, get back at the other end. Jazz up by four. We said at the top of the show tonight that the Lakers pick and roll defense was going to be paramount to their success or lack thereof. Monk off the Davis screen. You know, Malik Monk was sold on coming to the Lakers by A, LeBron's presence because he has a proclivity to get guys paid on the next contract. And as a pending free agent, that's a good thing. And B, there's a lot of Kentucky love on this squad with Rondo, who was here at the time, and Anthony Davis, as well as Vogel, who went to UK. He's thinking with his pocketbook. <laughs> you got a problem? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and by those Fendi bags with coins, here's Mitchell with the pull-up. And that's money. Donovan Mitchell lets out a little scream here at midcourt. And he's letting the Lakers feel his heat right now. He knows he's hot, and he's hunting shots at 